Hey everyone, it's week 20, zeros in the tower, you know the drill, so let's do this. This week is located by the Vanguard, so let's see what he's got. Firstly, for Titans, he's selling the Exotic Boots Mark 44 Standard Sides. The special perks are carry more armor for heavy weapons and increases the duration shoulder charge remains active. Now, I do not like these boots whatsoever. I don't see why anybody would use these over any other exotics such as Rune Wings, the Armamentarium, Glass House or the Helm of Saint 14. I would not buy these unless you have some spare coins and just want it for the collection. Next for Hunters, he's selling the exotic boots Radiant Dance Machines. These special perks are carry more ammo for heavy weapons and you move more quickly while aiming your weapon. Now at first, you know, you might think this is just a crap exotic, what's the point in buying it? Well, I actually think this could have some potential in PvP because being able to retain full mobility while aiming down sight could give you that edge over your enemy. And I'm actually, you know, I'm really interested in seeing how this would play. So, yeah, I think it does have some potential. Uh, definitely consider buying it. Then next for Warlocks, he's selling the exotic chest plate Starfire Protocol. These special perks are gain an additional fusion grenade, carry more ammo for fusion rifles, and carry more ammo for heavy weapons. Now, it's definitely not a bad exotic, it's a decent exotic. Um, I think it's worth buying the additional fusion grenade, basically frees up the Gift of the Sun perk, which will then allow you to pick another perk within the same column. So it's essentially the armamentarium, but for Warlocks. Um, and I think it's worth buying. And then for the weapon this week, Zero is selling the exotic sniper rifle Nolan Beyond, which has been deemed by many players to be the worst exotic in the game. Now, <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest, I actually find this gun really fun to use. Um, now while I do admit it does have its flaws, like it's very little ammo capacity and slow reload speed, but I actually find it fun to use in the Crucible. I, I don't know why, maybe it's just the handicap, you know, having that challenge. I don't know, but I actually kind of find it enjoyable to use in the Crucible. But uh, if you're tight on coins, definitely don't buy this gun whatsoever. Uh, exotic Shard, of course. And then Thank the Traveller, he's selling an exotic helmet engram this week, so at least we've got that if, you know, you're not interested in any of the other items. Um, I'm actually going to buy two of these as well. Um, I'm not going to open them in this video because I'm putting together a package opening video. I'm saving up all of my packages, a bunch of legendary engrams, and then these two exotic engrams as well. Uh, I, may, I may buy a third one later, we'll see. And for the upgrades this week, he has Knucklehead Radar and Acleophage Symbiotes for Hunters, the Helm of Inmerse Light and the Crest of Alpha Lupi for Titans, and the Light Beyond Nemesis and Sunbreakers for Warlocks. Then for the weapons, he has Bad Juju, Invective, Universal Remote, Thunderlord, Yellowhorn, Truth, and the PS4 exclusive hand cannon, Hawkmoon. So that is what Zero is selling this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, everyone. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. Let me know what you buy from Zero this week, and I will talk to you next time.